Amen. And so I need your prayers. Amen. Uh, and I know that the Lord's going to bless us real good this morning. What's your name? Say, neighbor. Amen. Amen. I'm ready. I'm ready. For a word. For a word. If you would, stand your hands to Reverend Randolph Delos and say, Reverend Delos. Reverend Delos. Pray. Pray. Amen. Stand your hands to this great choir. Say, great choir. Great choir. Great musician. Great musician. Sing. Sing. And play. Play. To the glory of God. Send your hand to the pulpit and say, Pastor, Pastor let the Lord use you. Let the Lord use you. Because I need a word. Because I need a word. Send your hands to the heavens and say, Lord, Lord I, come. I come to get my breakthrough. Get my breakthrough. Because I know, because I know. You, can you can do anything. You can do anything. You Look at your neighbor and tell them, get ready, get ready, get ready.
faithful few. Amen. 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 Giving honor to God for the Him that we to move and breathe and have our being. Giving honor to Jesus the Christ, who paid it all for you and paid it all for me. Giving honor to the Holy Spirit that's already here, flowing from heart to heart Amen. and breast to breast. Giving honor to this great preacher, teacher, and proclamator of the gospel in the Reverend Randolph the Amen. Giving honor to his queenly wife who's here with us today, Sister Pauline. Amen. Giving honor to uh, Reverend Marjorie Edwards, who is in absentia today. Amen. Giving honor to this great host of officers great stewards and great trustees, great missionaries, and great wife leaders. Amen. Giving honor to the First Lady of this great church, who's in absentia today, Amen. Sister Rochelle, and giving honor to our children, Miss Diamond, Miss <coughs> Ebony, Miss Jamie, and Mr. CJ. Amen. 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 Giving honor to the great host of men, women, and children who have assembled at this holy place. Amen. Again, thank God for this great choir who counted it not robbery, this great musicians to bless us and sing the songs of Zion today. Thank God for the usher who ushered us into the presence of the Lord this morning. And I thank God for every one of you that are here today within the sound of my voice. Amen. Before we go any further, let me just share uh, today, Sister Lula and Sister Sunshine and Sister Pauline, you all are wearing those hats today. <laughs> Amen. States after you. <laughs> Amen. 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 To uh, Dr. Uh, Purnell's uh, right, his divine wife is, is here with us this morning. So we certainly thank God for Sister Purnell being here. Uh, Brother Mike, we thank God for you. Amen. Sister Latanya being here with us today. Amen. 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 We give honor to you. Uh, to, to, uh, Brother Huey here. Amen. Just a uh, great gentle giant and he's here with a beautiful young lady to his right and that's his grandbaby. So we're certainly thankful that you all are here with us today. Amen. 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 Today. Amen. 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 Again, Sister Bradley, we give you honor. We thank God that you're here with us today. Amen. To, to again, James Brown, if you've never seen his, his movement, his concert, he would kick his right leg up and then kick it back. <laughs> And he, he, he give the drum a son. Amen. So we thank God for this great drum. Amen. Amen. It is a blessing when you have young folk. Amen. That kind of not rock to use their skills. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Share something with us in just a moment. Amen. Uh, 
but don't worry, Cindy, I won't, I won't put you on the spot, but, but I, I need your help for just a moment to help me illustrate, amen, something that the Lord has laid on my heart this morning. Amen. When you found Romans chapter 8, if you would stand with me for just a moment. If you're there, simply say, I'm there. And on the way, simply say, I'm on the way. Amen. Beginning at verse 24, and I think Reverend Lowe's read so eloquently for our hearing this morning, we read these words. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Yeah. Verse 28 says, and we know, look at your name say, and we know. And we know. That all things, tell them that all things, all things. work together for, the, for good, to them, to them that love God. That love God. Pause for a second. Look at your neighbor and say, I show sure love, love God. To them who are the call according to his purpose. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. To those that would need a topic, I want to just share with you for a few moments, amen, from the topic, and we know. And we know. And we know. And we know. Let us pray. Lord, help me teach. Help me preach. Allow me to increase. You increase, God. That you may, dear Lord, bless us in a special way. We thank you for your spirit today. We thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to come together one more time. And now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. And all of God's children say it. Amen. 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 And we know. The, the title of this message, And We Know, is to empower you with the Word of God because there, there's some things that we don't know, but today, this is something that we can all testify, and we know. And we know this because it is, the, it is in the Word of God and it allows us to understand that all and the last time I looked up all, you know what it meant? All. all. So all things work together for good to them that love God. Anybody love God? Amen. So if we love God, all things work together for good. Amen. Uh, and it says to us, or to, to them who are called according to his purpose. Now, I want to share this with you. I, I, I believe right now that every one of us could say our ABC. Even though we have practiced our ABC since kindergarten and first grade. But there's something in us, because we learned it and we understand it, we can stand up and we can say, and hey, we know. We know our ABCs. So CJ, if you don't mind, would you, would you come forth and just stand front and center? Now, I, I, want to, I want you to share with us an exercise about our ABC. I'm going to need you to, if you don't mind, say it loudly. And you're in fourth grade. Yes, sir. And, and I want you to simply face the congregation. Now, I don't want you to say your ABCs like we say our ABCs, A, B, C, D, but I want you to say them backwards from Z back down to A. And we know. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Amen. 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 Is there another volunteer? I don't 
only know how to say them A, B, C, D. If you ask me to say them backwards, I may get past Z. But it's going to be a struggle. But we can testify that we know, when we learned our ABCs and then we learned them and they dropped into our subconscious, it dropped into our spirit, and we would say them everywhere we go. So we can testify and we know how to say our ABCs from A to Z. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And if anybody ever asked us about it, regardless of what day it was, we can stand up at any moment in time and we can recite what? Our ABCs. Even though we had practiced it, we know for surety that, 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 that first comes A and then comes B. And after B comes C. And it becomes elementary. But how many people know that once you have a relationship with God, and once we understand who God is, then we can tap into the knowledge of God. And we can stand up at any moment in time and say, and we know. Amen. Regardless of what the storms of life may look like and how the winds of change may come, we can stand up and say, and we know. Amen. What do we know? We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. And so if we love God, we should know that everything is working together for good in our lives. Regardless of what it looks like, what it feels like, what it tastes like, we know that all things are working together for good because we love the Lord. And the Word of God says, to them that are called, uh, them who are on the call according to his purpose. Amen. And so it goes on in verse 29, it says, for whom we did foreknow, he also did predestinate and conform to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn of many brethren. So we're coming in the lineage of Christ Jesus. Verse 30 says, moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he also called, and whom he called them, he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Amen. 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 So, so then verse 31 says, what shall we then, then say to these things, if God be for us? All right. Huh? If God be for us, who can be against us? Right. In other words, if we wake up knowing that God is on our side, everything is all right. Amen. If, if we're in the noonday and we're, we're going through a trial, we can know that God is on our side and so everything's going to be all right. Even in the midnight hour, when tears are streaming down our face, we know that if God be for us, who can be against us? And so we know that everything is going to be all right. Why is it going to be all right? Because it tells us in the word of God, in verse 32, that he spared not his own son, but delivered him up. Why? Man. For us all. Man. Isn't God awesome? Yes. That he made a way for us? Sure. When we couldn't pay our own debt, or couldn't pay our own ransom, it, it lets us know that Jesus was delivered up for us all. Amen. Amen. And, and, then, and then it lets us know that, that because God did this for us, how shall he not also, uh, with him also freely give us all things? I'm telling you something that, that, that children, when you go into your father's house, it's blessings on every side. Yes, yes. Anybody remember when they were a child and you would go visit grandma and grandma? Yes, sir. You had access to everything. You would eat the candy and drink up all the soft drinks and, and, and everything would be all right. You could play on the inside and play on the outside and, and, and it was just a blessing because you had access to everything. How much more is it that when we have a right relationship with God, do we have access to everything? Amen. And we know that Jesus sits, amen, at the right hand of God because he's in intercession for us. Amen. So it allows us to say, and we know. Amen. It's like ABCs. We got to know this thing. Because when we know it, we know that we're blessed in our going out. And we're blessed in our coming in. Every now and then I just stop and say, back to the car. Because we know that we serve a God that, that's always in the blessing business. He's blessing us and blessing us in our going out. He's blessing us in our coming in. He woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. We ought to just stop every now and then and say, hey, we know. Well, verse 33 says, who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justified it. Who is he that condemned it? It is Christ that died. We know that Christ died. And then it says, 